Hey everyone, it's me Nicholas. It's been a while since I've done a video. Um, it's also been around about a year since I've um, got my bike. So what I thought is I'd um, just go over my bike and um, tell you what modifications I've made to it since I've bought it and um, what I think of it after a year. Um, I've done somewhere around about seven to 800 kilometres on it. It's very hard to tell because the um, speedo on, on this doesn't work full time. So um, anyway, um, I received my bike in March 2019 and the very first thing I noticed was the um, steering here um, was hitting the frame. So I, I inserted them uh, stops here to protect the frame. Um, this is amazing. This stuff works really, really well. Um, the other thing I did is I removed the key um, purely because there was a key missing um, during transit. The box um, got damaged. The keys went missing. So the plug that's on there at the moment is just a plug that you find on a kayak or canoes um, that let the water in and out. Um, and it fits perfectly in there. No modify, no modifications needed to it. Just slipped straight in. Uh, the next thing I did was I changed um, the chain ring at the front. Uh, same size, didn't um, alter the gears in any way. Um, sorry, the, the amount of teeth that were on there. But I changed it to a narrow wide um, tooth. Um, and this one here came with a chain guard. Um, which for me is quite handy and as you can see there's a few little marks on it. Um, what else have I done? Changed the tyres to Schwabble Plus mountain bike tyres. Um, the front one's a Maxxis um, and uh, it's an Advent race tyre, 27.5 by 2.35. Now, I didn't buy this, this was given to me because I, um, I ruined the front one going over a rock and um, so a friend of mine who didn't want it on his bike um, gave me this and, um, and I'm using it and it's actually pretty good um, still. Um, the front wheel, a lot of people comment on this, yes, it's kind of ugly <laughs> but um, I live in a hilly area, I don't know if you can tell, um, this is my house, sort of block. Um, so you can see the road over there um, going down um, and this I live in the mountains so it's all pretty much bush around here and um, I need the power. The, I've got a 500 watt motor here. It doesn't give enough power to go up hills especially um, anything more than say 13 to 15 percent. Um, it really you know you're starting to work a lot um, over a long period of time and um, having this uh, front motor here, um, I actually purchased it, not because of hills, but I purchased it so that I, I can go on long rides using the front wheel to get me there and then um, having the back wheel here to um, get me through the rough stuff. You can see the bike's pretty dirty, but I do lube the chain and the gears often and there's my dog barking and the same thing with the suspension on the bike front and back uh, anything that moves pedals um, uh, the bearings um, I've just done the bearings um, the only drawback with some of our bikes not all of them the new ones are okay I had to change the spokes on the back and I changed the pattern I, I didn't like how the angles were too far uh, and bending the, the spokes. Some guys have changed the spokes, put bigger and better spokes on there. I um, opted to change the spoke pattern purely because it works so well on the front. And um, I have not had any issues with the bike since. All I've done is um, I serviced it about um, three weeks ago and I've retensioned all the spokes, front and, front and back wheels. And that's about it. The bike has been, for me, problem free. Um, some of the drawbacks is the, um, you can see here, there's a bit of wear on the grips. Um, that, um, to me, um, is probably because the grips are so soft um, or I'm holding for my life when I'm going down the hill. <laughs> Who knows? Probably a bit of both. But um, 
that's okay. The brakes have lasted. I've just um, taken them off last week and um, checked them. There's not much left on the back. What I have done, I have filed this down. Most of you have put bigger rotors on there and put spaces in between. Filed the spaces. But I didn't want to do that. I, uh, I wanted to do it properly and I um, filed this. It, take, it took me a while because it needed to be precise and I got it on there and it's marvellous. The um, brake sits on there perfectly. Um, as you can see I've removed the sensors at the back because they're not working at the moment. We haven't got the ECU. So until we get them, uh, there's no point having them on there. Um, what else is there? Um, Honestly, I've got nothing else to report. The bike um, serves its purpose really well. I just can't wait till we get the ECU so that it can work properly as a um, pass, you know, with the pass PAS um, levels on it. I don't like the um, fact that it hasn't got a torque sensor. Um, I haven't ridden a bike with a torque sensor, but the way I ride with my bike is I use the accelerator it's pretty much um, like, a, like a torque sensor in the sense that I want to do most of the pedaling myself but when I need that extra assistance I just pull on the throttle a bit and um, it gives me a bit more power just to assist me going up those hills or even riding along uh, for that matter and um, the suspension overall I'm pretty happy with I, I can understand some of you guys changing your suspension um, you know, for, for, for me it doesn't worry me, I'm not a real fanatic and I don't care if the bike's not perfect either um, I don't care about little marks and scratches on it it's a bike, it's meant to be ridden, it's meant to have, um, it's meant to have fun on it um, if I was commuting on roads and you know parks, you know, I'd like to keep it clean but there's no point, as soon as I, um, I ride 10 metres it just gets dirty so um, as long as I keep all the um, moving parts going, I'm happy. I do like this. I know Narika have moved the USBs. I do like it. I do use it to charge my phone. Um, it's a pity that the new bikes don't have it. Um, and, you know, we haven't got a new ECU that has the USB ports on it, um, which is a, um, a pity. But um, I do like it. I do use it, and it does come in handy. So um, that's my bike. Um, any comments, leave them below and I'll um, see if I can help you out with it. Thank you.